Life for gays in the Muslim world is difficult as it is, but in the areas where ISIS rules, the retribution is beyond cruel. Now, again, ISIS images meant to shock and to terrorize have been distributed, and more examples of their inhumanity are on display. Uh, this time, it has perverted justice against gays in both Syria and Iraq. Uh, the names of those Arwa Damon spoke with for this report have been changed and their identities concealed. These stills, dated March 2015, purport to show a man being thrown from a building. According to the last caption, he was also then stoned to death, his alleged crime being gay. These images were posted by ISIS in its stronghold of Raqqa. This series as well, from January, show an older man seated in a chair and then tumbling to the ground. Also in January, these from ISIS in Mosul, two men murdered in the same manner. In all the photographs, dozens of people are seen watching the killings, seemingly unfazed. Nor, a gay Syrian man says, that makes the atrocious act even more nauseating. And their facial expressions are really scary because they are not even scared of what's going on. They may be a little bit excited or maybe happy to go to get rid of homosexuals in the, in the, the, in the city. Syria was never a nation that accepted its lesbian, gay, bisexual and trans community. The country's laws criminalize homosexual acts, punishable by up to three years in prison. Since the revolution turned war, life for Syria's LGBT community has become even more dire. It was not ISIS that forced Noor to leave Syria. Well before ISIS emerged as a significant force, in 2012, Noor saw this video. This is the only frame that is not too gruesome to show. The video depicts two men being beheaded. They're accused of being spies. But then towards the end of the clip, a voice references a verse from the Quran. And Noor says when he heard that, it became one of the main reasons why he decided to leave. According to the posting, the video was filmed in Idlib, Noor's home province. There's a very specific verse would say like, only this sin of homosexuality would shake the, the throne of God. So whenever we hear this on video or on on audio, we know exactly that this meant for gay people. It was the moment of clarity, a moment of understanding that this, this place with him is not safe anymore. Sami and his partner consider themselves already married. They fled after Sami's family found out they were together, and a car tried to run them over. Two hours later, Sami's phone rang. There was a man that was thirsty, saying, "This time you could ma you could have make it and you survive, but the next time you will you will not." In Istanbul, the couple lives in shared housing with other Syrian men. When the ISIS photos emerged, one of their Syrian housemates made a sickening comment. Uh, he made a very absurd joke about uh, he was so uh, so amused and he has so much fun watching uh, homosexual, and he he say now. Uh, gay men can fly. Fear of persecution continues to haunt them here.